Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to Lightning Gaming. So in today's episode we'll be using the D-Song Tower to cheese the entire game. It's gonna be a hard base build, but it's gonna be very very simple and yeah. It's an infinite loop, you're only gonna need a couple of blocks. And it's so powerful, you can defeat any hard anytime, anytime in your gameplay. Just so so OP and don't forget you get the best loot, you get tier 5 loot from the zombie drop, so yeah, first up you're gonna come here to the elevator that's right at the bottom of the D-Song tower, I'm just gonna skip through this part, you're gonna break down the door, okay, so we're almost done, once you break it down, as you can see guys, it's open all the way to the top, but we're not even gonna go that far, we're only gonna go to the second level, so what you're gonna do now, you're gonna come up this big stairs right over here, now if you come this side, you'll see there's a gate and the gate is closed and that thing has massive massive HP, let me just show you guys, it has like 10k HP, but if you go to the other side guys, let me just go around here, you're gonna go all the way around, right up until you find the elevators, then you'll see there's no gate closing you off, so you can just go in here, the door is already broken down, so yeah, we'll just make our infinite loop base right over here. Okay, so let's just see what blocks us off here. So we're gonna have to remove this wedge right over here. Let me just take some solid blocks. Yeah, I'm gonna re have to remove this wedge. It won't have a lot of HP. Let's just see real quick. Yeah, only 1k HP. So you're just gonna remove first of all this wedge right over here that's in your way. Just gonna take this one away as well. Okay, that one, after that we should be good. Okay, so now that I'm finally done with the wedges, we're gonna play some solid blocks. Ah, zombies. That's the only thing about the, the song tower, while you're busy setting it up, you will face multiple zombies, that will happen. And yeah, there we go, you're just gonna place the solid blocks just like this. Now you're gonna start with your wet 60 tubs. Right over here, place them upside down, this will be what we'll be using for our dropper. I'm gonna place it just like that. Okay, so now you're just gonna do two more rows just like this, another zombie attacking me over here. Let me just go check here in the outside, yeah, that's so irritating. Let, another one, ah, crawly. <laughs> okay, but never mind. Let's just take out our solid blocks and continue with our belt over here. So I'm just gonna place two more rows just like this. There we go. Now guys, the cables that's hanging in the back side, they have 10k HP each. So we won't be removing them in this belt, but if you want to make your hard face bigger in here, you're gonna have to remove those, it will provide you an extra layer. But yeah, like I said, it's not necessary, I'm not gonna do it. I don't like wasting time, I like to set up an endgame or base very very fast, I don't like wasting my time on that. But yeah, if you want to, you can. I'm just gonna place some solid blocks here at the back side. This is only for us to stand up, and as you can see guys, 10k HP is on this. We won't be wasting our time with that, never mind that. Okay, so now I'm just placing another solid block right over here. And yeah, that should provide me enough space just to stand around and kill the zombies. Next up, I'm placing a scaffolding right over here. Okay, now if you place it facing the other side, it's actually better, but this is fine. Now I'm just gonna go around, I'm gonna place my half cubes. This will be what forces the zombies to drop down. So you're gonna place them, three layers just like that, now you, as you can see I can't place any there cause my scaffolding is blocking it. So if you want to place another row which I would recommend cause then they have to destroy two. And yeah, then you can just do it, then you can just turn the scaffolding around. But anyway guys, now let me show you the next step, this is also very important. Okay, so what's gonna happen guys, the zombies is gonna run up the stairs. They won't go this side because they blocked off from this side. They will only continue running on all the way from the other side. Right over here. So we don't have to change anything in the path. The path leads straight to you. 
and it's quite hard to break it so for lots of hot nights this is gonna work and you don't have to do a thing so now you're just gonna remove this blocks right over here okay so i'm just skipped a little bit so i got this bl blocks removed and yeah guys guys that's basically it they will drop down here they will head straight out the door and they'll just do the infinite loop now you're just gonna hang back here and you're gonna wait for the war to get to you i'm gonna skip to hot night to show you guys how this works out real quick okay so i'm a little bit into hot night the zombies are starting to approach now now guys what will happen is they're gonna try to get to you they're gonna fall down the elevator shaft as you can see right over there and yeah, they'll just do the loop over and over. You can stand here and shoot them. You can shoot them at the bottom or in front of you, however you like. And it just works great every time. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, please remember to give it a thumbs up and to hit the subscribe button. Till next time, guys. Cheers. See ya.